My name is Amy Gertas. I teach sixth grade at Bridgeport Elementary, and we're studying the Earth cycle. Here's Mr. Crosland. <laughs> Hey, thanks for that uh, great introduction. <laughs> no, it was really quite nice. Okay, so here's what we're going to try to do today. Today I'm going to try to share with you something that's very important to the earth, but it's kind of hard for us to, to understand, and it's, it's kind of complicated. And actually, these concepts are in the news almost every day. It's going to be your job, as you learn more about this, to make a good decision on what we should do with our world. Because we're going to study some of the Earth cycles. We're going to study three of them. First we're going to study is the water cycle. The next one is the carbon cycle. And finally, the nitrogen cycle. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the water cycle is actually so cool to me because this is like the only planet that we know for sure water is on. We've looked at other planets. We think there was water on Mars. There's evidence that there was at one time water on Mars. But water, to me, is the currency of life. I'm made of water. You're made of water. In fact, water has a cycle. And the word cycle means it comes and goes and comes and goes. And it has. The next time you take a drink of water, I have some right here. Ah, this water, if I take a drink of it, this water has been recycled so many times through the Earth's water cycle that it's probably been thousands of times this water has been up in the air, thousands of times this water has condensed and come down as precipitation rainfall, thousands of times this water has landed in the oceans, the rivers, the lakes, and the ground. It's soaked in, it's been evaporated. And thousands of times, this has been soaked up by plants, eaten by animals. So the next time you take a drink of water, just remember, that water has been through the belly of dinosaurs. And skunks. And snakes. And trees. You're never drinking water again? Then you will die. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can live maybe 30 or 40 days without water, and then you will die. Water is the currency of life, and water is recycled. So today's lesson is about how we recycle water. So basically, I want you to at least learn three or more facts about the water cycle. The three words you need to know is that, first of all, water can be a solid. What do we call solid water? Ice. 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 And water can be a liquid. Well, no, we call that water. And water can be a gas. What do we call that? Actually, we call it water vapor. Water vapor. Okay, and sometimes we can see it and sometimes we can't. So the water cycle does all this. Now, what is the engine that gives all the energy to the water cycle? Anybody know? Air. No, air is our atmosphere. That's cool. We have the atmosphere, which a lot of this takes place in. The atmosphere. But what is the engine that causes things to evaporate? Yes. Temperature. Where does temperature on this planet come from? The sun. The, the sun. Well, let's go by the sun. So the sun, soul, sends all this energy to the earth. That is the engine that runs the water cycle. This is so cool to me. So you have water down here as a ocean or a lake, right? And when the sun heats it up, this is a liquid, L-I-Q-U-I-D, and what happens when it hit, the sun hits it? What is that word that water changes from a liquid up into a gas? What is that called? Vapor. It becomes water vapor. We call that a cloud. I mean, we see it as a cloud, but there's water in the air that we don't see. Now, what is that word called when it goes from a liquid to a gas? What do we call that? Evaporation. Thank you. That's called evaporation. Evaporation. And that's an important word to know. Evaporation. Got it? Hey, if you don't believe me, set some water out on your table. Come back in an hour. Come back in a day. Where'd it go? Give me another favor. Everybody go like this. Thank you. You just sent water from your lungs and your mouth to everybody in the room. Everybody go like this. You just shared water and lungs from everybody else. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, that's great. 
All right, let's take a closer look at that. Right? So everybody, blow out some water vapor. Everybody take a deep breath of some water vapor. Share the liquid of your neighbor. <laughs> hey, don't worry. It's already been in a dinosaur. It doesn't hurt coming out of you. Well, maybe it does. I don't know. Okay, so the sun causes liquid water to evaporate. Now, this liquid, these clouds, when they get cool, they do something. You know what they do? They come together and condense. When they condense, the clouds, the, they come together, they, they, they condense, they get cool, and when they get so heavy, you know what they do? They fall to the earth as precipitation. Precipitation. I spelled that right, I hope. Precipitation, which means rain. It means sleet or snow. And when it comes to the earth, it collects again, and some of it soaks down into the ground. Soaks into the ground, and it starts it all over again. So things are going up, things are coming down, and that is the basic water cycle. Let's take a look at it in your book. Okay, so here's the water cycle. What's going on in this picture? <laughs> what do you see? Um. There's three blanks there. What goes in? When water goes up, what goes in this blank? Everybody? Cloud. Evaporation. And when it condenses, this word, what goes in here? Condensation. And when it comes here, what goes here? Precipitation. Everybody write those words in the proper places. Okay, I see you've taken some great notes. Explain what's going on right here. The water's getting heated up and starting to evaporate, and it's called evaporation. And then it gets... Cooler? Cooler and becomes... Condensation. Condensation. And, and then when, what happens? And when it gets heavy enough and it rains, it's called press precipitation. Precipitation. Excellent. Hey, let's take a look at a short video that explains it even better than I did. So here is a, another image. There's lots of images of the water cycle. But let's check out, make this video large. Let's check out this video by the National Science Foundation 